the shuttle exploded and all seven crew members lost their lives. This is Judy Resnick, an engineer and pilot aboard the Challenger mission. In 2013, an eagle-eyed internet user found Judith Resnick, a law professor at Harvard Law School. Some people were a little taken aback by the identical name, age, and likeness, so they started digging. This is Michael J. Smith, also an engineer and pilot aboard the Challenger shuttle, who passed away that fateful day in 1986 at the age of 39 years old. This is Dr. Michael J. Smith, professor of engineering at the University of Wisconsin. Hmm. This is Sharon Krista McAuliffe, arguably one of the most famous things about the Challenger mission. She was supposedly just a teacher that was picked at random to be one of the astronauts which made it all the more tragic when she passed away due to the Challenger disaster in 1986. This is Sharon A. McAuliffe, also a law professor who received her degree shortly after the Challenger disaster. Dick Scobie was the commander of the mission. Here's Commander Dick Scobie next to Richard Scobie, the CEO of Cows in Trees. Here's his company's original logo. It's a cow, but it's not in a tree. It's strapped to a rocket. And gee, that jet stream kind of looks familiar. In fact... Just in case I wasn't making it clear, uh, the top picture is the Challenger ship shortly after exploding. So, you know, hmm. Astronauts Ronald McNair and Ellison Onizuka both passed away when the Challenger shuttle exploded. Miraculously, it was found out that they both had twin brothers, Carl McNair and Claude Onizuka. But ancestry searches were done for both Carl and Claude, and there was no birth records found. And the odds of two sets of identical twins in a crew of seven are astronomical. But that's just a theory. Rest in peace to the crew of the Challenger Space Shuttle mission.